965, 966, our guy Jack Flaherty and the Tigers at plus 105. I love them as underdogs today. I think there's several dogs who are alive today. The Tigers certainly one of them. Chris Bassett, the Blue Jays at minus 115, total of seven and a half juice to the over at minus 115. Am I missing something here, Kenny? Why is Flaherty and, uh, and the Tigers' bats got hot? What the hell? I think this is backwards. This price should be flipped the other way. What am I missing here? I, I couldn't agree more. I mean, this was, again, on a slate that I said I was coming in afraid of. I think there's traps everywhere and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this one makes absolutely no sense to me. The Tigers going into the break were 8-2 and two in their last 10. Uh, bats are really starting to heat up. Cole Keith has been on a tear. Um, and then you look at the pitching matchup here, and it's not even close. Flaherty has been unbelievable. I think Bassett stinks. I I, I generally believe that the Blue Jays should be home dogs here. So I, I like the Tigers. I took the Tigers. Double result went for a little extra juice. I think we have it at 162, I believe. But if, yeah. if you don't if you don't want to go that far, you just want the money line. I'm fine with that too. But I'm all over the Tigers today. Yeah, I really like the Tigers. Like, if I didn't already have a couple plays, I'd probably add this to my sheet. I, I think this is price wrong. I'm curious to see how does the base winner model have it priced because it doesn't make sense to me that Toronto's favored in this one. Yeah, it's it's a weird weird game, isn't it? Because you you think that you've got Bassett who's been struggling. He's the 94th base winner uh, rating, and then Flaherty. I've been really high on. He's got you know that strikeout rate is highest in baseball. I've got the game price at minus 154. So. That would indicate value on Detroit. You know, the only concern, and I, I listen, when Corby comes on, I usually listen to him. Some, sometimes I don't, but most of the time mm. I listen to the guy. And and uh, he he really went over some some data on StatCast. I'd like how Corby does the StatCast data, um, and he does that very well. And and he indicated that uh, that Flaherty's velocities like decrease so much that it would indicate an injury. So for me, right. uh, other than that, other than and, – and, and I really – I, I mean, that's one of the things about as you handicap, if you really like the way somebody does something, then 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 listen to it, because I think he does the stat cast really well. And so I because I, I, I was concerned, I put Detroit out first five the last time Flaherty took the hill. And, and that's when Corby won over it. And I thought, oh, OK, he's he's right about that. That's I shouldn't put that out. But other than that, like, I mean, and, and so like if you, you know, looking at it on paper, it looks like, yeah, you got to bet Detroit. But just having that in my mind. Um, you know, shout out to Corby. The kid's doing good this year, Kyle. He was doing good mm -hmm. last year too. And then the hair's mm -hmm. looking good. I think he's got yeah. the best hair on the whole team, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's, the young guys are just, I mean, the, just the whole show is absolutely on fire. We're 52 units up at the all-star break. I mean, what just, I don't, I don't think we could have, uh, ever asked for anything more than that coming in. We'd be pretty happy about that, but yeah, I, I'm with Kenny here. I really like the Tigers. They're one of my favorite dogs today. I think the Cardinals have Sony Gray. They're an underdog today against Schwellenbach. The Padres, I think, are certainly live as underdogs. The Tigers as underdogs. There's good underdogs today, in my view. Uh, but for purposes of the show, Kenny's going to lock in that Tigers double result, which I really like. And that's at plus 165. So a nice price on that one as well.